What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. We had a snowy day out here in Kentucky yesterday. They've actually closed down Fort Knox uh, for today. Even though we're teleworking today, we're still pushing out. We're still pushing through some work. All right. Um, I need to save this. All right. I know some of the numbers are going to be jumbled to where they're at. It's been like a lot of stuff I got to get done. Some of you guys know I'm on the hook maybe to go to Fort Drum on Tuesday. So I got to push a whole bunch of stuff to get going here. So these are not going to be when you look up in here in sequential order by pop. I didn't add this into the 10,000 club yet, but it gets the numbers out there to it. Um, some of the highlights, and I'm not going to make this one of the super long videos that I normally do. You can start seeing here where people are put were putting their attention during these orders. 2020 tops Luis Robert, over 2,000 of them now in the uh, PSA 10 format. Now, we all know there were a lot of issues with these cards to begin with. So you're looking close to around 30,000 of these have already been graded to get that 46.1%. Uh, also, the tops Chrome Lubobs, another big one. Zion Williamson Mosaics, same about the same time frame all this stuff came out. Uh, Jordan Tops Rookies, Bichette, Kyle Lewis, look at that massive number, 2,259 more. Look at the high percentage rates on some of this stuff, insane. Uh, there was something else, and this is, like I said, Kyle Lewis did break 10,000. He'll be up in here, I'll fix this up. And there was something else I saw on here. Ah, this is what I want to talk about. If you start looking now, where a lot of this stuff was jumping up in pop count, it's now actually going down because a lot of people don't have this stuff submitted anymore. Luka Doncic's Prism Rookies, only 67 new ones. And you see Zion's have dropped down big time. Morant, I mean, they're under 300. I mean, there was one more. PD's even dropped down. Tiger Woods. Now, these are a little bit harder to grade. You're talking about one every three. If you pulled them out of packs, would probably be a 10. A lot of people still, I thought Glaber would already be up there with this pinstripe. I'm not too sure why not. They might be in late people's later stuff, but only 94 of those went through. But very interesting overall when you start looking at this stuff. Uh, you start seeing stuff in the different RAS groups, how it's just coming through, and a lot of stuff just won't fill because it's just high pop counts. You know, people are starting to see some of the prices go down. Some are leveled out already. But it's just one of those things, supply and demand across the board, that when you got a lot of supply and not enough demand, prices are going to go down. And then again, you got a lot of people, they're going to be holding cards for a while because they think it's going to re-trigger to those original prices. Oh, one last thing. I just looked at my little list here. If you guys are getting cards back in, you notice it's a high pop count, hit me up so I could add to this list. This was just stuff off top of my head. Eventually, we'll probably start seeing things like Burrow, Herberts, um, Lamellos, Anthony Edwards. Try and think off the top of my head here. I think those were the pretty big ones I'm thinking of from last year, but eventually those will start becoming pop heavy. And that's one of those things that I tell a lot of people, like, oh, should I grade this or not? I'm like... Well, if you grade it and you can get in and out quickly and sold, maybe worth it if you tenant. it. But, you know, eventually them pop counts will catch up. It's just, are you willing to risk that amount of money to hopefully have that 10 on the card? But, yeah, you're starting to see a lot of different stuff out there. Um, I've got to find the gem rate data for last month. I'm kind of curious who was the high points on to it. Because I'm guessing it was a lot of baseball had to pick up last month by just looking at these numbers overall of people pushing stuff in. But all right, everybody. Figured I would get this out here. A um, little bit late on it. Usually I try to get it out a day or two earlier than I did. 
Uh, I was down for two days and then uh, actually got some time today to get this stuff here done. Oh, trying to think. Next week, I'll probably be out for a few days. So if you do get anything on a website, if I do end up going to Fort Drum, New York, I will put a video out just to keep everybody aware that the store is still open, the website, but the shipping won't happen until the following Monday. And that's only if, like, flights don't get delayed. I get stuck in transit in Philadelphia or something crazy like that there. But other than that, everybody, have a good, safe rest of the week. Overtime you back, I think it's in, like, two or three, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks overtime will be back. We'll start hitting some of the different topics up onto there. Again, if anybody ever wants to come on there with me, just give me a holler. I'll send you an email at the link. Other than that, like I said, guys, stay safe out there. I know COVID's running rampant across the U.S. We got a lot of weather out there. But I will catch you guys next video.